So the search menu has the typical stuff to search your text. Really, there's two commands you guys need. Control F to find, Control H to replace. Very standard everywhere. You guys can use that in Word, Excel, almost all applications in the world use these commands. So just learn them. It will save you a lot of time everywhere. Control F to find, Control H to replace. That's pretty much all you need to know here. In the design menu, this is where we can add different actions. We can set checkpoints and we can start end transactions. And I guess we can also check the syntax, which gets automatically checked when you save the test anyway. And we can add a comment. I've never seen this. Let's check it out. Okay. I think I know what that, that's going to do. Let's come over here. Let's switch out of the keyword view. And let's see what add a comment does. Oh, you can't. Oh, well, not sure what it does. Never used it. If you guys know a great use for it, let me know. So over here in the record menu, you can do a typical style of recording where you just, you know, click record and record a test. And then also you can do analog recordings that allow you to record mouse movements. And to do that, all you have to do is click the record button. And then once it starts recording, you do analog recording. And so now this comes up and we can record relative to the screen. Click start analog recording. Let's come over here, go to paint. I wonder if I have it. I don't, I, I do. There it is. Just didn't come up there. And then we can do, you know, something like this. And then we can stop it. Great. Now, let's go ahead and run it. I'm not doing that guys, my mouse is over here. Did you see that? What it did? It's gonna run two times because, why guys? Uh oh, it messed up. Anyways, that's the analog recording if you do wanna record mouse movements. But I hope you don't need to be doing too much of that unless your application is very crazy. But that's the record menu. And we also need to discuss these guys.